What's going on guys, welcome to the tutorial on Adobe Dreaming vs CS5 and Adobe Edge Preview number 4. With Adobe Edge, a lot of people have been asking me uh, different questions about this, how to incorporate different elements, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to incorporate a Twitter feed and a YouTube video. In the most recent preview of Adobe Edge, Adobe put out a video and they were explaining how to do different things. Now they did incorporate a Twitter feed, but they didn't have enough time to actually explain how they did it. So I'm going to use Dreamweaver to show you guys, and I have a tutorial on this, a separate one, where I get more in depth on how to control the Twitter feed. But with this, I'm just going to show you very quickly. In Dreamweaver, I'm going to open up a document, and it's a simple HTML document. I'm going to go to Insert and select Widget, and I already have this installed, and it's called Twitter Client. I think I have it set already at what I want. So I'm going to go File, Save As, and we're going to call this Twitter, and I have it right here. And let me save this as Twitter. Okay, save that. What happens is in Dreamweaver, it's gonna save all the assets. And again, if you're not familiar with this process of installing a widget or using a widget in Dreamweaver, I have another tutorial where you can check that out. And as you see, right here is the div holding the Twitter feed. So if I press F12 to, I'm sorry, if I press Control Enter to test this, you're gonna see the Twitter feed right here. So there's a broken image here, but that's because I don't have this folder itself loaded to the website. So what I'm going to do is take this document and I'm just going to come over here to the div and we're going to start animating it. And I'm just going to take another location and move it over. But I just wanted to show you guys if I press control enter, there you go. That's a bit more smooth. Now, if I want to, I can make this take longer change your opacity. These are very simple transitions, but effective when you're doing something in edge. Add another keyframe, increase the opacity. Control enter. As you see, the opacity increases. Let's just extend this to show you guys really what this is about. Make it a little bit more obvious. Control enter. And that's a simple tween, but you see how it's transitioning. That's how you incorporate a Twitter feed, and in Dreamweaver they make it really simple. That's a free widget, and again, the widget browser, and I'm going to include a link in the description to that tutorial. Also has a video response, so you guys can check that out. Now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is the YouTube video. A lot of people have been asking me how to incorporate YouTube videos to our Edge projects. So I'm going to come over here to my channel. Let's take the Add Twitter Feed in Dreamweaver tutorial. And let me just pause this, and I'm going to come over here to share, and I'm going to select embed. And this is the iframe for the video that Google offers, so I'm just going to control C to copy this. And I have the pixels over here selected at 560 by 315. And we're going to come over here to Dreamweaver, split the screen, and let's go File New, New HTML document, and in the body, I'm going to paste the code in there, and you're going to see the video over here. Now I'm going to go File, Save As, and let's save this as um, Adobe Easy. Save that. Go into Edge. Go File, Open. Now this is the thing with incorporating a YouTube video in an Edge project. Since it's holding the iframe, it's kind of a little bit off when you try to animate it or do something with it. So let me come over here to the actual frame, and you see how it's like controlled here? I didn't put a div around it, so let me come back here, select my video, Go insert, layout objects, div tag, and we're gonna wrap it around um, the video and call it Adobe Easy. And Adobe Easy one is ID. And now it has a div tag around it. Let me go file save. I'm doing this really quickly, so if you guys have any questions, please, you know, feel free to ask. I'm gonna save it and update it in um, Edge. So now I'm over here with the div tag around the iframe. So if I take one keyframe over here, Add another keyframe for location, and I'm moving this around. Control Enter, test this, and it's off. And it's taking the actual div, and it's not moving the video. So with an iframe, it's a little bit more complicated, I guess, for the software to interpret it in the browser. I browser checked this too, and I could try to mess around with the opacity and see what happens here. But I've been getting a lot of different results with this thing, and I don't think it's even going to recognize the opacity. Now I know people were using the old way of embedding and I seen somebody create a video. Well there it goes, see? 
That's pretty interesting. Now it's sliding through. So I'm not expecting the iframe to be perfect in Edge. And that's it. That's how you embed a Twitter feed and a YouTube video in your Edge project. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.